Are you getting the issue that no display connected to AMD products error message show up when you are trying to use your system? Well, let me tell you the most common fix for this. So this is what you want to check first if you get this error message. Unfortunately, it's very simple. Now, of course, this is a motherboard with a graphics card that is taken out of the system. Of course, it needs to be plugged in and your graphics card's power connector and everything like that needs to be plugged in. It isn't now. This is just a free little piece of hardware so that I can show you more easily. Because it might, makes much more sense when I can show it show it to you like this so you really understand what's at hand here. So <laughs> have your motherboard inside a nice case and not on a fancy Norwegian weird chair. Anyways, um, what the problem usually is, is that you've tried to connect your monitor, the signal cable to your monitor, you've simply connected into the motherboard. And uh, if you've done that, you basically bypass your graphics card. Thing is, you need to connect your monitor directly to your graphics card, otherwise it will be bypassed. And you might say, hey, my monitor has VGA, uh, and my graphics card doesn't have, or any other connector. You need to get an adapter. This is a DVI to VGA. And this DVI needs to go into the mixed input, which is the one with a little cross in, because otherwise it won't be able to output an analog signal. And VGA is only analog, and uh, DVI can be both analog and digital. So you need to do like this. And of course, um, you might use DisplayPort or HDMI more commonly, and you need to, or DisplayPort is more common, doesn't matter. More modern motherboards usually have connectors. It's the same as them. You need to connect them into your graphics card. Otherwise, you will bypass them if you plug them into your motherboard. Like usually, the computer is like upright like this. So usually, your graphics card connector is the one at the bottom. You see like a metal bar like this with only graphics output. And the motherboard is like a jumble of all different connections here. So, if you really don't know where to put it, just put it into the next hole it can fit, and you have probably switched. And that should solve the issue for you. However, if it doesn't, then you need to go to the description and check my little tutorials there on how to update your graphics card, which might be needed, a nice clean install there. And, uh, also, you might have a processor that has a built-in uh, GPU with the graphics card chip, and it might be so that in the settings it's taking over, and then you need to switch from uh, your integrated to your dedicated graphics, and I also have a tutorial for that. So if it wasn't this simple for you, please check the description for more tutorials. In any case, hope you enjoyed this little video, and I hope I see you in future ones. This is Jim Odessum, Total Nodru Channel, signing out.